This is your West Tennessee Today Evening News. I'm Chloe Bitters. Our top story has to do with medicine, and it's not a good day for 32 doctors and other medical professionals across the state. They've been charged with overprescribing opioid drugs and other pills in a major nationwide crackdown. One of them was a nurse practitioner, Christina Collins. Authorities say she prescribed 51 pills a day for a patient in 2011. Among the tablets were Xanax, Ambien, and Methadone. In West Tennessee, eight doctors have been charged along with nurse practitioners and physician's assistants. Attorney General William Barr says the opioid epidemic is the worst drug crisis in American history. That drug crackdown also involves a Jackson nurse practitioner. Jeff Young was indicted Wednesday. He calls himself the Rock Doc. Young is 43. He's accused of federal drug trafficking. Investigators say he traded drugs for sex. Young tried to make himself into a reality TV star. The Department of Justice released a long list of pills Young allegedly prescribed. They include half a million hydrocodone pills and at least 1,500 fentanyl patches. Jackson police are still investigating a Monday night shooting death. A 36-year-old man was killed at an apartment complex in East Jackson. 36-year-old Cornelius Fields died of gunshot wounds at 33 Carver Avenue. Several witnesses have been interviewed, but no arrests have been made. Police Chief Julian Weiser says this is an area where reports of shots fired have increased. He also says more gang violence is being reported. Weiser says patrols are being stepped up with the Street Crimes Unit and the Gang Enforcement Team. We have some people police would like for you to identify. The first two we're showing you are accused of shoplifting from Academy Sports. It's a man and woman. Last week, police say they came into the store and stole a pair of shoes. One of them is a slender build black man who was wearing a black t-shirt and tan pants. The woman was wearing a white and black pattern outfit with a black hat and sandals. They were seen leaving the parking lot in this van. If you know who they are, call the Jackson Police Department at 425-8400. Again, that's 425-8400. You do not have to give your name. And here's one more case. This one involves church burglaries. Jackson police need help in identifying a man who broke into several cars at Light of Life Ministries. That's located not far from the downtown area on Fairmont Street. These are pictures from surveillance video. The man is tall and thin with short twists or dreadlocks. Police say he burglarized several cars and trucks during church services. Once again, if you know who he is, call JPD at 425-8400. For Morris Merriweather, the news is not good. After Tuesday's Ethics Committee vote on his conduct, he has to wait for more than a month to find out his punishment. Tuesday, the County Ethics Committee unanimously found Merriweather guilty of ethical misconduct. He was accused of violating the Madison County Code for Ethics for Public Officials after sending emails threatening the jobs of two public school employees. He also called for an investigation into the Bill and Kathy Vinson family because of the number of family members on the county payrolls. Four other complaints were considered as similar to Kathy Vinson's accusations. The matter has not been resolved. The complaints have not been withdrawn. Uh, I, no matter what the people are feeling today, they haven't withdrawn the complaints. And we've heard from neither side that, that the matter has been resolved. It's uh, going to be very important because one thing we don't want to happen is for this behavior to be acceptable among any uh, elected officials. Merriweather did not attend the meeting. The Ethics Committee now turns over its findings to the County Commission. Commissioners will vote next month on whether to censure Merriweather. The Vincents say they were satisfied with the Ethics Committee vote. Well, I um, appreciate the committee. I appreciate the work that they did. I, I appreciate they took it very seriously. And uh, no matter what their decision had been, I feel that way. Are you satisfied with this decision today? Uh, yes, of course. We knew there was a limited degree of actions they could take. Uh, so they did pretty much what we hoped they would do. We've had a mostly overcast day in West Tennessee but our map shows what we can expect tomorrow. Showers ahead of a cold front will be moving in overnight. By Thursday morning, we expect heavy showers and thunderstorms. They could bring us as much as three inches of rain between Thursday morning and early Friday. We do have a flood warning for most of West Tennessee in advance of these storms. Please be careful during your drive time tomorrow afternoon and evening. 
Your West Tennessee Today pinpoint forecast calls for a 90% chance of showers and thunderstorms on Thursday. Some of them could be severe. The high will be 71. Our low will drop to 47 as that cold front moves through. Friday, showers continue in the morning with a high of 57. We'll be clearing by Friday night with a low of 40 and strong northwest winds. The weekend looks really good. Saturday will be in the upper 60s and Sunday warms back up into the upper 70s. We'll see wind shift out of the south to warm things up on Sunday. That's your West Tennessee Today Pinpoint Forecast. I'm Chloe Bitters, hoping you have good weather wherever you go.